Yo guys, what's going on? Trevor Neff here. So, if you guys already know, I have the Quest 2. I've had it for about a year and a few months now. I got it in July. So, basically, the week after we got back from vacation. Um, actually, no. I got it back. I got the Quest 2 the day after Freddy and I came back from vacation. So, if you guys know, the Quest 2 is right here. This is what I've had for a year. Um, I had to replace this multiple times, the head straps to get the Elite one, and then the controllers. Um, I had to get these Kiwi controllers just so I could use the, uh, strap that came with them. Because the, you know, as you guys know, the Quest 2 didn't have the straps on them. So, they're not like the Valve Index ones. So basically, I had to order those from Kiwi. But that's not the point of this video. This video is not to talk about the Quest 2. Actually, this video is to talk about... The Quest 3. Yeah, I ordered a Quest 3. <laughs> so, you guys might be asking, okay, well, Trevin, you have a Quest 2, why do you need a Quest 3? The Quest 3 has a lot of products and, like, a lot of good stuff to it. If you guys want to see all the cool things that the Quest 3 has to offer, I'm going to suggest a channel for you guys to check out. It is Thrill Seeker. Thrill Seeker's link to the, uh, his channel will be in the description below. Check out his video on the Quest 3. He talks about what happens a lot in, those, in, in that. After reading everything... And, uh, basically how it's basically just as good as a running computer now. Um, and it runs better with Steam VR, Way better than the Quest 2, hardware-wise and software-wise. I was like, I have to get it. And you know what? I paid off on my credit card, so I, ha I no longer had any debt with credit cards. Um, I was like, you know what? I've had a rough two months. I just want to treat myself today. I could pay this off easily. I only had to pay 600 bucks. I could pay this off easily. So I'm going to do it. And I bought it. I'm going to pick it up today. I'm going to do um, a video on it today on my VR channel. So if you guys want to check that out, check out my VR channel. Link in the description below. I'm going to be doing a lot of VR videos with it. And the Quest 2 has just been having a lot of issues lately when it comes to making videos. The Steam VR has been messing up. And people will say, well, that's a PC issue. It's not. I was able to play my, my VR games on my desktop without my VR, because some games have it without, no issues. Um, I had a factory reset my Quest 2 twice to get my games to finally work, so it's definitely a Quest 2 issue. Um, and the Quest 3 just has a lot more to offer, and I think with this, I should be able to play my games a lot better. And um, from what I understand, um, there's not as much like stutters and lags as much with the Quest 3, so... I'm very excited to get it. The only thing that I saw in Thrill Seeker's review was it's a little uncomfortable for a little bit. So it's, it, you have to like find a way to make it to where it's less uncomfortable. He suggested wearing a, a hat, but I'm going to I'm gonna see for myself. I'm not going to do a full review just because I don't know all the specs, but what I will do is I will do a comparison video of the hardware that's inside of it. And I will probably do a little bit of a review, but just not a full review. If you want to see the full review, go to Thrill Seeker's channel. He'll explain everything about the Quest 3 compared to the Quest 2. And this may make you guys want to buy it. The price is a little bit expensive. It's 500 bucks just for the 128 gig. If you want the 500 gig or 500 or something like that, it is about 650 bucks. So it is about a $150 difference. But I will say this. If you guys are looking for a headset that you're just going to be doing standalone, no PC, that 500 some gigabyte one would be the perfect one for you. But if you plan to do PC VR, I would say go with the 128 gig. That's what I did. You put no memory on there besides just downloading the software. You have no reason to even use the standalone if you're just going to be playing on PC. So that's what I would recommend. I'm going to be driving here in a little bit to go get my order. It is ready at 10 a.m. And it is 9 a.m. now. So in an hour, it'll be ready. And I'm going to be leaving a little bit sooner than that, so, yeah, I can't wait. The Quest 2, you have been really good to me. You've helped me get through some videos. We did some streams together. I'm not going to sell a Quest 2, at least not yet. My uh, my plan was to keep it as a backup or eventually sell it. I could probably sell that right now for probably $200. So, I could literally make back any of the profit that... I, I use for the Quest 3 headset. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to do a, a review. I'll probably do a review, actually. Because I know I know pretty much a lot about... Um, I know the differences and the similarities. So, um, And if not, I can just look up the information. So I can give you guys a full review. 
So, if you guys want to see a full review of the Quest 3 and the Quest 2 comparison, or um, just to know the differences between the two, check out my VR channel. That will be in the link description. You guys can check that out, and I will be doing a full review once I get it. I'm going to mess around with it first, just to make sure um, that, like, I don't uh, just say what I see on the internet. I'm actually going to try it myself, and then I'm going to make a video about it. So, yeah. Um, I might make, I might add on to this video of me getting the Quest 3. I'll let you guys know. But, uh, yeah, I'll see ya. Looks a little shitty outside, not even gonna lie. It's all cloudy. Like, everything just, like, it looks like a miserable day. And it's starting to sprinkle. Don't want to get my camera or the microphone wet. Yo, guys, I got, I got the Quest 3. Alright. So... If you guys want to see a full review, the video will be on my VR channel. Here is the Quest 3 in, in, the, in the bag here. So yeah, if you guys want to see more of that, go to my VR channel. I will be doing a review on it, and I will be doing some tests on it. And uh, I might make some separate videos on there. Um, like, um, I might make like two individual videos, one for a review and one for like a uh, test gameplay type thing. But make sure you guys check out my VR channel. That's where I'll be putting all this. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to do this review. I'll see you guys.